You've been with Cargill, I think, uh, according to the site that I saw, over four decades. Is that right? Yes, this is my 41st year. Wow. So you probably knew something about food uh, going into that job. Uh, Was there a lesson that you learned about uh, food and food supply that you hadn't uh, learned beforehand? Uh, I'm sure you learned a lot being CEO, but uh, in terms of just food, anything stand out? I think an underappreciated aspect of food and and agriculture uh, certainly is the interconnectedness of of the various links in the supply chain. But powerfully within that is the role of price in in changing behavior in a positive way. I think most of the general media will cover price movements generally on the upside as a harbinger of inflation or as something that's unfair. Something sinister, yeah. Something sinister, but in point of fact, that you watch as price signals very quickly go through the global agricultural landscape and cause players in each individual link to, to behave differently. And, and I've seen it in a very, very positive way that after, for instance, to use a recent result, the very severe weather of 2012 in the U.S. Midwest, the way in which farmers in the outback of Brazil and in other places in Latin America, in Central Europe, the way they responded to that drop in supply related to U.S. weather to ensure that the amount of calories that we actually produce worldwide, if you look at 2012 and 13 together, were very close to on trend. And I think people miss that and it's underreported that that signal went out and the speed of response all across the food supply chain to price signals is something that I would not have appreciated as I came out of college in spite of taking a few courses in microeconomics. But uh, it, it's something that we try to talk about more openly and more often as price movements are usually cast in a very ugly light. And in point of fact, people miss the huge positive value they have in terms of food security.